Ultraviolet has launched the F77 Mark II, which is basically the upgraded version of the F77 that they brought into the market a couple of years ago. So it boasts of some serious changes and while uh, from a design standpoint, it does uh, still look rather futuristic, there have been some minor upgrades, uh, the biggest and notable one being uh, the charging port cover, which is now aluminum and also comes with magnets over here to hold it down and give it a nice thunk when you close it as well. So that stays shut. That was obviously an issue pointed out by customers on the original F77. But the Mark II is all about major upgrades, including performance, including range and of course, increase safety and riding pleasure so just jumping straight into it i think you've got a rather futuristic looking machine i love the way the headlights look all the way up front you got great detailing i mean these boys out here in bangalore have done a fantastic job with the bike you've got a nice digital display you can scroll through a ton of information on it as well as store data there as well so there's a lot for you to uh, play around with when it comes to the digital display. What you see right here is actually uh, the regen mode. So talking about that, uh, the F77 Mark II now comes with nine levels of regen. So if you bring it down, this is where it's at uh, zero regen and you can take it all the way up to R9. So that gives you all those stops and it works kind of like uh, downshifting on a traditional bike uh, that's the kind of feeling that you get so that is something that is truly amazing about this bike uh, of course you've got uh, different ride modes so you've got uh, uh, you know the cruise mode you've got your uh, combat mode you've got your ballistic mode where this thing turns into a serious uh, sort of it sort of catapults forward at a crazy pace it can do 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds it does 0 to 100 in 7.7 .7 seconds. Uh, that is uh, definitely some crazy figures for an electric motorcycle and it will leave uh, the competition way behind uh, on that 0 to 100 kind of run. Uh, speaking about range, it has been improved over the F77, which is now the outgoing model. Uh, the Mark II now has a 323 kilometer range uh, per charge and that's on the recon version and uh, I will talk about the versions in a bit, but uh, this is up from 307 that you were getting on the F77 when it was originally launched. So it is available in two variants. So the Recon being uh, the top model and you've got the standard variant as well. And that has a slightly lower range. Uh, I think it's in the 211, 212 sort of range uh, that you do get uh, on the bike. But uh, overall, of course, uh, being an electric super bike, I think they've got a lot right, including the ergonomics. So the riding position is neither upright and neither too aggressive. It is built for you to really enjoy this bike in city rides, on long distance, use it as a tourer. There's a ton of accessories that you get. You even get nice panniers where you can now house uh, the booster charge cable, which earlier on you had to carry around. It's pretty big unit but uh, that is what allows you to charge this bike up really fast off a 15 uh, amp uh, power outlet so uh, now you can carry that around easy if you're touring of course take it off have it at home uh, if you're using it in the city and uh, there's a lot that uh, has gone into uh, upgrading the bike so now you also get uh, AI updates uh, they can basically track all your data and give you inputs uh, in real time about your usage. And it's all very cool, high-tech, uh, forward-thinking stuff. The brake light also has a role to play. So under hard braking, it will flash really fast. That is to warn vehicles behind you and uh, you know uh, riders behind you that you are deaccelerating really fast. So just maintain a distance. So it's just like an added safety measure over there. Of course, this gets uh, dual channel ABS. You can switch between uh, mono and dual uh, on the bike and uh, you also get uh, traction control as well as something that they call uh, dynamic stability control which uh, if you've got regen happening which is already slowing down the wheel and then you're gonna uh, get into where uh, traction has to kick in you know you need something that sort of overrides that system 
and dynamic stability control ensures that uh, the electronics do a fantastic job of ensuring that your wheels do not lock up, you stay in control and it just adds to the overall ride and uh, well ride safety uh, so to speak. Well that's just about it for the bike, I'm just going to take you and show you some of the other colors that you have, it's available in nine colors. So what I shot over there was the Stellar White, uh, over here we have the Supersonic Silver and uh, this one is the Lightning Blue, it's a very nice striking blue color. So looks great, I think uh, Ultraviolet has a great color palette going for them. So these three colors over here make up uh, the Airstrike palette. Now I'm going to move on to what you get uh, with the laser selection. So that's what this number on these bikes uh, points out. LSR means that it's part of the laser range. So you've got Plasma Red, which is this striking looking machine over here. And uh, that is the Afterburner Yellow, which again, I think is probably my top favorite color on the new F77 Mark II. Looks absolutely striking. I love the black and yellow play. And then you've got Turbo Red, which is obviously more racing inspired and also looks great. Now the last color palette that you do get is the Shadow Range. And over here you have the Stealth Grey to start with, which with the red accents, it does give it more of a slightly more notorious look. I think, uh, again, it's something that I can see a lot of people going in for. You've got Cosmic Black, which is, again, pretty much your all blacked out bike. Very uh, traditional, very uh, upmarket. And again, something that you will see that a lot of takers will dive right at. And uh, last but not least, you have the Asteroid Grey, which is a play on the black and grey over here, giving it uh, a nice touch. But uh, so that's your nine colors, your three palettes. So you got shadow, laser, and uh, of course, airstrike. You can see that it's a nice big crowd out here. But uh, having said that, great new bike, been priced really well, uh, with a starting price of 2,99,000. Uh, I think Ultraviolet definitely has something up their sleeve uh, when it comes to this uh, new range for the F77 uh, Mark II. On that note, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know that there's a ton of people in my video. It's uh, obviously got a lot of eyeballs. There's a lot of people checking out uh, the bikes all over the place. And uh, if you do have any further questions about the bike, uh, do write in. It is my promise, it is the Motorscribe's promise that we answer every question that comes in on the Motorscribe's channel. So I look forward to hearing from you. and. Uh, do let me know what you think about the bike. Do let me know if you have any questions. And as I part, I will point out that there is this nice little Easter egg over here that tells you that these bikes are proudly made in India.